Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Many of you that have been followed me over the years will know that um, because of people that I know and uh, dated, that all these earthquakes in the Cobb Mountain area are caused by the injection of water to the geothermal fields. I believe that you probably have a significant earthquake coming to this area because in the last 24 hours, there's been 20 earthquakes there up on Cobb Mountain. Now, this is not far from Clear Lake, Kelseyville, uh, Lakeport, California. In the last week alone, there's been 159 earthquakes in this location. There was a magnitude 2.9 today there by Anderson Springs. And 10 people reported feeling this earthquake, and it was very shallow, 2.1 kilometers in depth. So that would be about a little less, or a little more, I should say, than one mile deep. And then we got the focal mechanism ball. We'll show you that. Um, it shows uplift. The first sound of the wave, the P wave, the pressure, came straight up. Tension was applied going um, south. All right, felt reports. Here we got Cloverdale, Hillsburg. Um, doesn't give us the name of the area here. Here's the location of that 2.9. Yeah, right over here. Yeah, we got a geothermal power plant. I'll give a shout out to Bob, Mike, and Russ. Um, yeah, I was dating one of the fellows when they were building one of these power plants. The one they were working on um, is capable of be being converted over to nuclear. Everything was made with stainless steels, I was told. Everything, um, the cooling towers, uh, all they needed to do to, to convert it to nuclear was drop in the rods. So in the early 1980s, and I mean like 1980, 1981, the groundwater was being depleted. So they started pumping water into the ground to recharge the system to extract the heat. And that's when all the earthquakes started. I remember them talking amongst themselves. And um, after talks with geologists about the earthquakes, they were totally um, surprised. And it was kept all hush-hush back then that they were causing the earthquakes. Yeah, not only did they have the problems with the earthquakes, but there was a lot of problems with the uh, um, Union, and it was Mafia, and they uh, did a lot of sabotage and um, threats to the people that worked there. Yeah, I could tell you some stories about that. So bad did the threats get that um, some of the bosses up there on one of these uh, um, sites that was building the uh, power plants, they started carrying guns. The next largest earthquake that I found within the last week is this 2.0. Now, no one said they felt that earthquake. Here's the focal mechanism ball. I'll pull it over. The first initial wave and the pressure came in. You can see how the fault line um, rose up and moved towards, uh, towards Clear Lake, um, northwest a little bit. Tension was applied going east. Yeah, the earthquakes there up on Cobb Mountain have been just growing and growing. Over here, there's an ancient volcano, um, Kanakdai, Mount Kanakdai by Kelseyville. And these fault lines, yeah, they run all the way up, yeah, towards Willits. Um, yeah, we'll just pull it on up here. Yeah, runs all the way up. You know, and the thing about a lot of the homes that are up there, um, a lot of them have um, stone foundations um, that's unreinforced. Trailers that are set on just stone blocks, not fastened down. So if there is a large earthquake, yeah, it would be devastating. And hopefully not very many people would be hurt. And hopefully you're prepared for a moderate to a large earthquake. Because I think it's coming. So if you live up there and if you felt this earthquake, did you notice anything moving? Did you hear it? How long did it last? Please put your information down below. Well, thank you for watching. I'm also on Patreon and I'm also on uh, Twitter. My name on Twitter is Lucky Finds, F-I-N-D-S, and there's a 
underlined space between lucky and finds. And then that information is down below in the more information box. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.